We are at the Southampton Boat Show with the lovely Timo team and we are getting out on the water to test the brand new Timo 1000 electric outboard. I don't know about you but I'm excited, we've been waiting a while for this, we've been out with the Timo 450, now it's time for the 1000, let's get out in the water and see how this thing runs. This is Timo 1000, we've designed an outboard uh, which is easy to install, quite light actually, and with a very innovative mounting bracket uh, with a 360 degrees wheel and um, that enables to install so the outboard when you are inside the boat and after that I will insert the battery it's a battery cassette which is very light as well we have a retractable tiller so on sailing boats sometimes you won't need that but on a tender of course you will need it and after that I just have to plug on the key press two seconds the start button and the display will show me what's the battery left uh, at what power we are and what's very easy Okay, let's get on the water. Okay, so we're clearly on the water now with something pretty special and massively innovative. And we've got an entire team with this taken out here, so I'm feeling pretty special right now. Something we've been waiting for for a while, actually. I think Timo are definitely one of the more innovative companies on the market. I'm sure these guys would certainly agree. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so how long does the battery last on this thing? So you've got one hour range, and if you go half speed, you will be able to use it for two hours and a half. So it depends what speed you are at. So how long has this been on the go for now? How long have you been marketing this? How long have you been working on it? How much work's gone into it? I would say at least one, one year and a half ago, and managed to reach a good quality level. Cool. So what size boat are we in now and what size boats does this work for? So this will propel um, big tenders um, with six people on board and light sailing boats up to 8 meters. Uh, I would say up to 1.3 or 1.5 tons. So when we took your um, Timo 450 out, uh, we took it out on the back of a, um, a Benetel First 24. This would have been alright. In fact, this would have been perfect. Yes, actually, yes. So, Timo 450 for small dinghies and that one for bigger boats. Yeah, yeah. So it's having clearly no issue pushing us along here. There's four of us in this boat. It's a reasonable weight boat as well, actually. It's no lightweight thing. Yes, it's quite silent, as you can notice. We are going at a reasonable speed. Um, so it's, I, I would say, David, what do you think? It's easy to handle. One of the innovations of the Temo 1000 is the foil shaped design at the back. So you can see it's very much shaped like a rudder would be on a sailing yacht. And that means you can steer at low speeds still really, really effectively. So when you're going into berth, you don't have to have too much power on at all to really get, a, really get control of the boat. And you can berth in a very, very safe controlled manner, which is you know a fantastic feature of the design. Because of the rudder shape, you can actually get the profile of the rudder really close to the to the transom at the back so you can do a really tight turn you can see there we literally are spinning on ourselves here i won't go too often because we'll just get really dizzy which isn't a good idea so i'll stop i'll stop that now i mean it is pretty cool i can't i can't disagree with that but uh, why do you need to do that <laughs> you just you know just to show off just for giggles <laughs> Cool. <laughs> it was improving every month, every week, a new detail added and the, the engineers uh, team is uh, working a lot on that. And for me I'd say that one of the best things about it is obviously it's, it's just adaptable for anybody in any boat basically. It's easy to use as well I think. That's when, it, when we first saw it that was what sort of took us. It's easy to put the thing on for a start, spin it around and do what you want with because a lot of the time you're hanging off the back of a boat in a swell. That's a lot easier. And uh, yeah, just a lot of it, integral tiller, I think is quite important. 
But one of the really impressive ones for me was the long shaft short shaft thing. Yes. So simple. I haven't <laughs> mentioned that, but you can adapt the shaft length to your boat. No need to choose between short or long shaft. Uh, you have 20 centimeters uh, variation. So you, so it's easier because if, for example, you you've got a tender boat and a sailing boat, then you will be able to use the outboard on both of them. Cool. So it seems the only thing we're missing out on the water is a beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that pretty much wraps up the team of 1000. The guys themselves from the company have told you all about it. I could not have done a better job. It's definitely one of the more innovative products on the market. And me personally would say that it's definitely going to change the way people design their outboards and what people expect from an outboard. It just makes life better on board. I think it's fantastic. Now, all I can guarantee you is when these things come on the market, we are going to badger them until we get one for a test of our own. Maybe do something a little unorthodox as per usual. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, definitely stick around with Sail Up for more bits of bobs with products and things like that that we'll be testing over the next little while. At the moment, we're at Southampton Boat Show. I can guarantee you there'll be a lot more testing coming out of this one. So we'll see you next time. Do like and subscribe. Ciao, ciao, guys.